born out. You guys are, you guys are going to know that anyway. So, I mean, to um, tackle that, not all anime is like that. Granted, you have some anime that is, I wouldn't recommend to minors, or under the age of 18. Gets. Yes. <laughs> there, 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 are several, there are several ones, and all animes, even Japan, Japan, even though they let all this stuff slap, they still have their censorship programs to where it says, okay, this is only for 16 of them, because this sounds reasonable. Okay, a guy loses his arm, uh, half his the people are killed arm? in a very gory way. 16 of them, that sounds like a good loses his head. In America, in America <laughs> that'd definitely be at least an X or two. Because <laughs> yeah. it's going way beyond R because America, like I said before, lives sheltered lives. If you show, I've actually done this study in a college out in South Dakota, okay? Not many anime goes out there, but still. I showed parts of scenes from Cowboy Bebop the movie, Knocking on Heaven's Door. Yes. And I showed the opening scene where it shows Spike fighting and shoot, fighting and kicking everyone's ass and and cussing up a storm, pretty much. Then I showed several other scenes, such as Faye and more Faye. No, my Sid. Wife, <laughs> my wife. Or or my wife. or every or certain subjects in the anime in that movie, such as bioterrorism. I mean, after 9/11, everyone's like, "Oh, bioterrorism is bad." I mean, that's why they didn't show that. Arnold Schwarzenegger flick a couple years ago because it dealt with terrorists and whatnot. So I showed all those scenes, all those scenes to people. But before that, I showed them, I asked them questions like, "What would you consider a cartoon? What would you 